Hi sunshines, welcome back to my channel. I'm home! <laughs> I'm so happy to be home and in my backyard. I have been doing laundry and cleaning out the car and emptying suitcases and I think I had over 350 comments which I think I've responded to everyone. Thank you for your patience guys. If I missed you, let me know because I didn't mean to. I sat in my computer for like three hours today and just worked but I was so happy and thankful to see your sweet comments um, knowing about the loss of my grandfather so thank you very much but I did learn that I have a new subscriber and her name is Jessica and she was actually the stylist to this box I'm going to show you I have a thread up box you guys I have been wanting to order this box for several weeks one of my sweet subscribers let me know this is available and I didn't get to it till I was actually in Florida but this is the thread up goodie box and basically you pay ten dollars for this box and they send you I think between 10 and 15 pieces of clothing now thread up is an online um, sort of thrift or consignment store so you did fill out a profile everything starts at like ten dollars and goes up from there you can kind of pick your price points that you want do you want clothing that comes like between ten and twenty dollars do you want clothing you know different prices you tell them what you like what you don't like your sizes that kind of thing so I met Jessica in the comments today Jessica you inspired me to go ahead and open this box I was gonna do Natalie attired today but I scooched that one right over and put <laughs> thread up in the in its place so I'm dying to know what's inside this box is so heavy you guys it's huge I'm gonna show you it's got this great polka dot tissue paper I do have a it looks like I have a little mailer so you probably stick this back on top of the box and ship it out I don't know if that's postage paid though. I will have to let you know in the comments below. Affix the prepaid, yes, return shipping label to um, the outside of the box. You have seven days from the time you receive it and all the clothing must be in the condition that you got it in. Okay, great. And then it looks like I got a pricing sheet. And let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 15 pieces of clothing. So that's exciting. All right. No, I do have makeup on today. I don't know. I think the lighting is going down, so I'm looking a little pale. And it was kind of a dry hairspray kind of day. You feel me? Anyway, all right. So, stealing deals since 2009. Let's see what this is. This is a little purse, it looks like, for spring. That's cute. That's cute. It's just a little knit taupe bag by Nine West. Okay, so that's the first thing in here. Let me see how these all work. Don't, oh, Nine West shoulder bag is $31.99. I'm not sure how, I, how this would be a shoulder bag. Maybe there's some shoulder pieces down in the bag. But anyway, that's that. Okay, the next thing in here I see is something that is totally my color. And it's this cute little racer back sort of tank. It's V-necked. It's kind of fun with the coral, I mean with the aqua and navy, which are totally my colors. And it's got a little back, I don't know if you call that a racer back particularly, but it's really cute with little white jeans or shorts. That might be really fun. Okay, so this is by the brand Viric. I've never heard of that brand before. It's $21.99, all right? <clears throat> the next thing in here, is olive green. I did tell them that that was one of my favorite colors. It's a, just a little straight dress. Looks like this dress has a spot on it. You see it right there? Um, that's all right. And it's long and straight. I don't know with the way my hips kind of come out, I don't know if this is going to look great on me. I will definitely try it. But yeah, it does look like it has a stain on it. Okay, this is by Lula Row, $30.99. So I'm not sure about that one. All right, the next thing in my box is just a little skirt by the brand Priana. It's a certified fair trade cloth. This was a normally $49.99. And it's just a little skirt. It still has the tags on it, so it's brand new. It's in the size medium. All right, $20.99, okay? All 
right, the next thing is a pair of jeans. These are guests. Oh my gosh, I haven't had guest jeans since high school, but I used to love them. My favorite jeans in high school are my acid washed guest jeans. I don't know if I'm skinny enough to wear these anymore, um, but I'm definitely gonna try them. These are the p Petite Britney Skinnies. Okay, that is a blast from the past. I absolutely love that. And those are $16.99, how fun. All right, the next thing is another pair of denim, and these are by The Loft. These are the, oh, these still have the tags on them. These are petites though, so I don't know if these are gonna fit me. They are $19.99. And it doesn't say like what kind they are, if they're like a skinny, but it's just a little crop, which I do love loft jeans. These look really cute. All right? All right, and then last but not least, I got a pair of shorts. These are just a khaki green color, more of an olive. These are by the brand Pilcrow and the Letterpress, and they're $16.99, okay? All right, the next thing is by New York and & Company, and these, I can already tell you, are not my colors. <laughs> not a hot pink girl at all. I definitely would try it on, but I'm not sure this is the dress for me. Actually, the style is really great, but I'm just not sure about the color. And this dress is... Oh, I lied. It's by Mark New York. It's a cocktail dress for $42.99. So I totally lied. It was not by New York and Company. It's by Mark New York. It's an Andrew Mark dress. It does look like it had a place for a belt, but it doesn't look like the belt is on it. All right, the next thing is a little, not sure if this is a dress. This is a Banana Republic little outfit got a wide sort of lapel look and then it's got um, that same material around the bottom and this is by Banana Republic and this is a sleeveless blouse for $16.99 okay all right we're still going this is by the brand Laundry I have heard of that brand before this is just a little sweet sleeveless top and on the bottom it's got a little bit different material which I actually really like this this is cute all right and this is it's the laundry by Shell Seagal sleeveless shirt for $23.99 all right okay then the next thing okay this is like a little kimono maybe oh this is by Lola Rue again um, it's actually cute. I don't, I don't actually mind the pattern at all. It's kind of like a sheer kimono jacket. I like the colors. They're totally my colors. That might be fun, actually. Okay, so that is the Lola Rue kimono for $24.99. All right, the next thing is a Diane von Furstenberg. And this is just a classic sort of military-inspired top. It does have the roll sleeves with the button. So that's really fun. I've always wanted a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. That's like on my bucket list. That is $46.99. We have a pair of crops by Sonoma. Is Sonoma maybe a JCPenney's brand? I'm not sure. But that's what they look like. And they're just kind of cropped. They're adorable. Those are cute, and that is, those are $14.99. I'm kind of going fast because I feel like I want to try on, and I feel like this could go on forever because there's so many pieces. All right, this is, these are Calvin Klein jean shorts, and they have like a little roll-up tab in navy. Those are cute. I'm going to show you my white pasty legs, you guys. I haven't tried on shorts this season so far. <laughs> those are $18.99. And then last but not least, I got a pair of Izod white sort of crops. I, do you guys remember this material with the little like check print in it? <laughs> These are a blast from the past. Okay. So that's what those look like. And those are $9.99. That price is great. Okay. So I'm going to go try some stuff on. What do you guys think so far? I think it's such an interesting concept and I love that they send you so many pieces. So let me get to trying on and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So I am back. I have this little Lola Rue 
kimono on and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I just had a black t-shirt on for the video and so I just left that on with it. It's definitely long. I like the colors but I'm not 100% sure about this. Tell me what you think. Um, I think it's all right. And then I do have these little loft uh, jeans on which I rolled up and they fit really well. They actually go down all the way to my um, ankles. So they're like an ankle skinny, but I rolled them up, which would be cute, cute crops for this fall, summer. And they're brand new. So those definitely might be a keeper. Sorry, I don't have anybody to help me film today. So that is the first outfit. Tell me what you think the crops or maybe yes this I can't tell there's a part of me that really loves it and a part of me that's not so sure so feedback all right I'll be right back okay so I'm back with the little sleeveless navy floral top I'm not really a fan it fits a little bit big and I don't love the neckline of it it's just kind of a V but it's got kind of an interesting collar so I don't know it's not my favorite these are the guest jeans which are entirely too small I mean, they fit, but they are like super skinny and cutting off my circulation. So I am not going to get these. And I'm not sure that I'm going to get the top either. So I will be right back with the next outfit. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm back. I have this little top on and part of me really likes it. Part of me though feels like it makes my body look lopsided because of the way of the print. And I'm not 100% sure. I can't get the side to lay correctly and I don't know if it's because it's the way it was in the box or not if I decide to keep it I'd probably try and iron it first to see I love the pattern but I can't tell if it's dated let me know what you think I love the neckline I think it's totally my colors I'll show you what the back looks like it's nice and long so I think it would be cute with I've got still got those guest jeans on but really cute with white also. So tell me your thoughts on this. Um, it was a boutique brand. It still has the tags on it and it was originally $77, all right? Okay, so this is that little Diane von Furstenberg shirt. It goes down really low. I definitely have to put a cami under it. I've got one side rolled down and one side rolled up. It's definitely long enough. And it's cute. I feel like it cinches in just enough, but I'm not sure that this is something that I would wear in my closet or maybe I would wear it in the fall. What are your thoughts? Do you like the gold hardware on it? Let me know. Okay, let me go see what else I have in this pile over here. All right, so I have this little hot pink dress on. It's cute from the top up, but it is really really short it does have belt loops so you could put a belt with it um, but I really don't have anywhere to wear this type of dress to so, let me show you how short it is it's really fitted um, it's sort of a cocktail style but um, again I just don't think I have anywhere to wear it and I don't really love the color so I'm gonna go try on some of the shorts and things be right back Okay, so here's this little black tunic. It almost has like this big band of like tuxedo material or something. I think it's supposed to be dressy. It's a tunic and it comes up high, but it just, it's odd. And I'm not really loving it. And then I would never wear this together, but these are those little eyes on pants. They are so balloony at the bottom. They just look really, really big. They're also a little bit tight in the waist. Um, so I think this outfit is going to be a no. Again, I wouldn't wear this together, but I just think this kind of feels really big. It's really big under the arms and things. Anyway, all right, what do I have left? I think I have a couple more pair of pants. So let's go see. All right, so I'm back. I put my regular top back on. This is that little Stitch Fix top I got a while back. And these are just some little khaki green kind of shorts I told her that I liked like like a five or a six inch short I do like them but I have a pair almost identical to them in my closet I think that are from loft they might be a little brighter green 
but these may be a no. I just have to go look and see. All right. Okay, so these are the little pants from Sonoma. And I do really like them, but I have two pairs of Peace Troopers that are similar to these, the Sanctuary pants. And they're so similar that I just really don't think that I need another pair. But I'm going to show you what they look like because they're super cute. Okay, I have these little navy shorts on. They roll at the bottom. They are really cute. They just feel a little bit tight across my high knee. They may not, but they're definitely the length that I like, and I love navy. So I might consider these maybe with that green and um, aqua top that I got. All right, I have one more skirt and then we'll be done. Hold on. All right, so I'm back. I have this little sustainable new with tags khaki skirt on. I'm just not really a skirt girl, although she did get something that goes to my knees, which I super appreciate. It comes up pretty high, very high waisted. I think it's okay. It's definitely comfortable and flirty and soft, but it's just not my style. So, all right, we've gotten through all the clothes. I will be right back to do a recap, okay? Okay, so I'm back. I'm losing light quick, and the high school has got the loudspeaker on. I'm not sure what kind of event they're having tonight. Maybe baseball or something. I did not try this Lola Row dress on. It had a stain on it, and I just don't like these straight kind of dresses because I'm hippie, and I, when I wear those kind of dresses, it feels like this on my hips. It just accentuates them, and I feel like, um, you know, it's kind of a know how to dress your body thing, and I just know that style does not typically fit. I did like this little navy sleeveless top. It just felt a little bit big. I'm not sure how I feel about this kimono. I love the colors. I think not maybe with this black t-shirt if I put something on it that lightened it up. What do you think about it? I think it's fun and adorable. The little um, navy shorts, I'm gonna try on with, hmm, where is that top? Here it is. I'm gonna try it on with this top and see what I think, although I think this top may look better with just a white pair of jeans or a little pair of dark crops. Tell me what you thought about this. Did it make my body look asymmetrical um, because of the print? I'm not really sure. I do have a pair very similar to this in my closet, so I'm not going to get those. There is something about this little Diane von Furstenberg little top that I'm kind of drawn to. So that may be a yes. Then there's this little tunic, which is kind of a dressier top, but I just, again, I don't have anything where to wear that and it was really big. The, the little cotton skirt was adorable. I loved how it went to my knees, but I'm just not really a skirt girl in the summer. And the little guest jeans, um, are these the guest ones? They were just a little bit too tight, so those are going to be a no. I did like these little um, cargo crops, but like I said, I do have two pairs of Sanctuary that are similar to that, that are, one is camo and one is like so light camo that it looks just like an olive. So that's going to be a no. The loft jeans, I do think I'm gonna keep. I rolled them up and I think they would be great for the spring. I. I'm gonna look in my closet, but I don't think I bought any loft crops last summer. So I think these, I love how dark they are, would be great. This little cocktail dress was cute, but it's just not my colors. And um, these little white pants were just, I didn't really like how balloony it made my legs feel. And it was a little bit tight um, in the stomach. And then this little purse, I think it's adorable, but it's not something that I would carry, I don't think. So, overall, my impressions of ThreadUp. I think it's an amazing service. The prices are killer. I think, Jessica, if you're watching, you did a fabulous job. I think she gave me shorts. She gave me crops. She gave me jeans. She gave me casual tops. She gave me dressy tops. She gave me a skirt. She gave me a cocktail dress. She gave me, I mean, there was everything under the sun. So I think that it was an amazing first box to kind of feel what my style was, what silhouettes looked good on me because the silhouettes, I think some of them were a little more body conscious and some of them were bigger, which I loved. So I think this was such a fun service. I actually love that these loft jeans that I'm keeping are new with tags. So you can't go wrong with that either. I'm not sure if you get the $10 styling fee off of 
if you buy something or not. I will try and put that in the comments below if I can find it. And I don't know if that $10 styling fee is temporary because it says $20 on the website and then it has it crossed out. It has a $10. So I'll let you know if I can figure that out, if it's a temporary thing, or maybe Jessica, you can answer that in the comments too. So I will definitely get another box. I really had fun with this one. It was great to try on. I hope you're having a great day. I'm sorry my lighting is going away, but it is late. And I will see you tomorrow for Natalie Attired. Bye-bye.